Hello and welcome to this session. So in today's session we are going to be talking about uh, virtualization. Uh, we are going to understand uh, this key technology that uh, has enabled uh, cloud computing. And uh, we are going to understand uh, how uh, the foundation of cloud computing works. So if you are into this kind of videos, uh, kindly remember to subscribe like this video and uh, let's get into virtualization so virtualization allows multiple physical devices such as routers servers and switches to reside virtually on a single physical server and uh, this could be the, the, as we all know the routers servers switches these are the foundation of networking okay so we get back into networking and uh, what uh, virtualization helps us basically do is uh, it helps us do networking on a single machine and it does this through a software that we call a hypervisor and we are going to look at a hypervisor later in the video so let us get into let us get to understand how we reason out a uh, virtualization so having physical servers in businesses or institutions could uh, result in lots of unused processing power virtualization helps consolidate multiple physical servers into one physical server so a router remember it has various functions it does uh, port forwarding it does uh, in some routers the DHCP server is uh, located uh, inside the router so uh, switches uh, help uh, help us connect uh, machines but uh, on a uh, on a local area network okay you have to remember that so now Virtualization helps uh, us to do all this kind of work and create uh, machines or uh, routers, servers, switches uh, virtually on one physical device. So you don't have to go buying all these uh, machines uh, in order to achieve cloud computing or uh, virtualization in short terms. So each virtual server has its own virtual network interface card and we remember that a network interface card uh, is the card that is given to a, that is uh, installed to a host or a client in a network and uh, it basically helps us to understand or, or uh, make a physical connection to a network and each machine is a uh, recognized on a network through a MAC address which is a media access control address so virtualization as we said earlier is made possible by software that runs on a physical server and the hyper this uh, software that uh, helps us uh, get virtualization is called a hypervisor so a hypervisor is a software that can help us create start stop and monitor multiple virtual machines simultaneously. There are two types of hypervisors. This type one hypervisor that runs directly on the server hardware. So you don't have to first install a, a operating system. You just install it the way you would uh, or you would install an operating system first. But uh, now this one uh, it, it helps you host multiple other uh, machines or operating system in one uh, server so you could have a, a windows machine or a windows server running a linux server running and ubuntu server running so that is uh, what basically a bare metal hypervisor does and uh, an example of this uh, hypervisor is called VMware ESXi which is a 
a hypervisor that is mostly run on a data center applications. Now we have the two hypervisors which are called a hosted hypervisors and this is where you traditionally you just run an operating system you download this hypervisor and helps you it helps you create other machines uh, inside your operating system and that example is a vmware workstation for windows users a vmware fusion for mac os users and the virtual box for windows users also So, a virtual network interface card uh, is a software associated with a unique MAC address and can be used uh, by a virtual machine to send and receive packets. Okay, so all uh, virtual network interface cards map into a shared uh, physical network interface card, and this is enabled via a virtual switch, which is a software that can connect other virtual switches. A virtual network interface cards to a physical network interface card. A virtual router is a software that can connect to other virtual routers. So you can basically see the whole network uh, there laid out. Now for enterprise purposes, and this should also apply for personal purposes, virtual firewall is a software that can uh, protect virtualized servers or machines from a uh, malicious traffic and it basically works just like a, a normal firewall where you use a uh, access control lists to uh, prevent malicious traffic from uh, coming to your network now this is what you call a virtualized server load balancer and it works like uh, the traditional a load balancer which distributes traffic to machines with dupli duplicate uh, information to avoid the uh, overloading one machine and this helps you uh, maintain a lot of connection uh, connections and uh, the requests do not uh, delay as much as they would when you are accessing one, one server so mainly a uh, user server load balancer when you're doing maintenance you can sweep out one uh, machine uh, the network will still uh, run normally and uh, you can put it back and uh, it will uh, automatically connect and if you have to increase uh, the number of users that are using your server then uh, you can scale your network uh, uh, properly uh, very very efficiently without a uh, struggle as long as the servers you are adding have duplicate information uh, as the others so i believe that's it when it comes to uh, virtualization i hope you have understood this uh, key technology in uh, virtualizing, uh, virtualizing uh, machines and uh, basically the foundation of uh, cloud computing so thank you and see you in the next one